in a previous uh, video, I showed you how to show how to uh, set up flaps using the flap mix option. I'm just going to show you that there's lots of different ways to approach different issues. In this particular session, I'm going to create uh, flap controls using the program mix function. I'm going to start out by showing you how the aircraft is configured. We're going to look at the model type. So we have an airplane, two ailerons, two flaps, normal, normal, and electric. When I say two ailerons and two flaps, that means there will be a servo plugged into two separate channels for ailerons and two separate channels for flaps. If you have your servos plugged into a Y and only into one channel, that's only one flap in this configuration. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is set up some controls for the flaps. And in this configuration, I'm going to use a channel that probably is not going to be used. It won't even be in my receiver. I'm just going to use it as an internal control channel. So I need to set up some kind of control on the flap. So I'm going to go ahead and touch the none on channel 12. And I'm going to move switch 1. So we will assign switch 1 to channel 12. Let's go to the next page. This is the last page on the control set page. This is the delay area. Any, time, any increase in this value here will slow down your servo functions. And for flaps, we want to slow it down so it looks more scale. So I'm going to increase the delay to about two and a half seconds. How's that? Okay. So that will delay the servo function. I can even show you how that's working right now. Touch servo and I flip the switch. We're only seeing channel 12 right now. But as you can see, it moves slowly. Okay. Going back, if I reset that and watch. Then we get snap down, snap up. Okay. Going back, we're going to put the delay back in. Now by adding the delay to the control channel, it is automatically passed through to the other channels that we mix with the control channel. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the function menu and we're going to start out with program mix functions. Now on this screen you have ACT stands for active, MST for master, SLD for slave, and we have a set column once we create the mixes. So let's start with number one. We're going to touch the none on line one and we're going to put channel 12 as the master. And we're going to put channel six as the first uh, flap. And go back. Okay, we're also going to put another mix in. This time it's still going to be channel 12 as the master, and this will be channel 7 as the slave. That's the other flap. Are ready? And typically when you set flaps, when you push the flaps down, the airplane blooms up, so you're going to need some down elevator. So I'm going to put one more control in here. We're going to use channel 12 still to be the master, but now we're going to use channel 3 to adjust for the ballooning. Okay? Going back. So... These are all inhibited until I change that, they will not work. So I'm gonna turn them all on, okay? Okay, so channel 12 into six, the first flap. Let's go ahead and try some values. So I'm just going to put 40% here. And 30% here. And show you what's going on real quick, okay? So when I flip the switch, I get 30%, but the center of the switch is neutral. Doesn't work good for sport planes or uh, scale aircraft. So we're going to have to fix that so that the switch, one side of the switch, is actually flaps up. So we're going to go back. In order to move the functions of the switch to one end or the other, we're going to do an offset on Y. So I have a B of 30, so I'm going to put a negative value of 30 here. Okay, so that's our first mix, 40, 30. Let's take a look, see what it looks like. With the switch pushed away, now the flaps are completely up. We go to 30% and then to 70%, A plus B. Okay, 30, 40, 70. All right, so we did that for channel 12 into six. Let's go back. Let's do channel 12 into seven. Now, because it's on the other side of the aircraft, we're gonna have a negative value here. value here and 
and an offset that will be plus now. So we're, we're always reversing value B. All right, let's take a look and see if it works. Okay, so with the switch pushed away from me, channel six and seven are neutral. I pull it towards me, channel six and seven go to 30%, and then to 70%. Okay, going back. So we've now set up channel 12 into seven, and 12 into six. So the last thing to do is play with our elevator to give us a little down elevator as we deploy the flaps, okay? So we're gonna go here, and we're going to put in, I'll just say, let's try 30% just to see how it works. Probably way too much rudder, but the elevator, but we'll try it. And decrease this to minus 30. Do the offset to plus 30. All right, let's try the servo. Okay, I have the switch away from me. Flaps up. Flaps deployed to 30%. Elevator went to 30. Flaps deployed to 70%, but I've got the elevator value wrong. So I need to reset this, increase that to 30. Set this and decrease this to minus 30. Sometimes you just have to play till you get it right. Okay, so, okay, flaps up, flaps to 30%, flaps to 70%. So we did 30, 30 in an offset, and now we have channel 12 into 3 set up. So going back to reiterate, we mix channel 12 into three channels to control the flaps and the elevator, and we're ready for flight.